More help is on the way for Minnesota hospitals and long-term care facilities. They're dealing with critical staffing shortages as COVID cases continue to surge. In addition to federal medical emergency crews, Governor Tim Walz is activating 400 Minnesota National Guard troops to help in long-term care facilities. Here's Esme Murphy. The shortage of ICU beds is so severe, doctors warn emergency care across the state is being compromised. Hennepin Healthcare is turning down up to 50 transfer requests a day for their advanced trauma facilities. If you get in a car accident in rural Minnesota and you need our complex trauma care, the additional 12 to 24 hours you might have to wait for a bed to open up here might mean the difference in long term functional outcomes. Hennepin Healthcare, the state's largest level one trauma center, is so backed up it has five patients on ventilators in the emergency room. ERs statewide are reporting similar overcrowding. If you're critically ill with non COVID illness or COVID illness in a rural hospital not equipped to care for you, the additional wait times might be a difference between life and death. National Guard troops have begun their training. A U.S. Air Force medical team will begin Thank working you, Thanksgiving Day at Hennepin Healthcare, yeah, who where Senator Amy Klobuchar visited workers. If you want to help a healthcare worker who's maybe saved the life of someone in your family, the best thing you can do for them, the best thing you can do for your family is to get your booster if you've already been vaccinated or if you haven't, to get vaccinated now. The deployment of the National Guard will be taking place over the next week. 400 troops will be receiving specialized training and becoming nursing assistants so they can be deployed to long-term care facilities across the state. In Minneapolis, Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. Minnesota has had a 53% increase in new cases in just the past 14 days. The number of people admitted to the hospital for COVID is up 37%.